Hello everyone and welcome back. Just wanted to keep everybody up to date that watched the last tent video. Uh, the new cylinder stove, wood stove, arrived for the tent. Uh, they shipped it last Friday. At, I don't know, probably took three business days to get here. Showed up UPS. So the new one is here. I need to get this one taken out, put together, and I'll pull the legs off the old one, put it in the same box and package it, and then get it sent back. I see they sent me directions here. I remember seeing this sheet when I bought it all those years ago. I forgot all about this. Like I said in the tent video, I am keeping the shelf and the uh, water reservoir, water heater thing here. I'm just going to get that cleaned up. In fact, I was just researching how to clean up aluminum. And it uh, sounds fairly easy. I'm just pretty much going to wash it with uh, warm, soapy water and then try to get that to shine it up. And if that doesn't work, you can cut a lemon in half and then dip it in table salt and rub it on there to get the shine or there was another one where I used tartar sauce and something I don't know I'll have to look it up I'll get it nice and shiny though before it goes on the new stove I wanted to show you guys this I mentioned it in the other uh, video that when you buy this if you're using it for camping everything fits right inside it's really neat I mean I've never had to use it that way because I just had it permanently at the tent but it fits inside so the thing really uh, is easy to transport One thing I noticed that they do different compared to the original, this is the original, you can see how this is in here. You can see now with the new stove, they've got this lip that goes down, and then they've got these little things here to catch the stove pipe. The, the other way, it was just that rim that was on the stove pipe that would catch right here, which is fine if you're like a normal person and would always replace your pipe when it got bad. But for me, I use them until they burn out. And then there was, I remember one time that I opened up to put wood in and I couldn't get the wood to go in the fire. And here the, uh, the it was a longer log and here my stove pipe had actually sunk down in here about three or four inches. My own fault, but I mean this here is nice because it'll stop that stove pipe and it won't go down at all. Oh, these are the four new legs. They were inside there. That's a nice looking stove. It's been a long time since I've seen a new one. It's got the old style door which I wanted. And I still see it still has the old brass tag on the front here. The old one had fell off earlier this year. In just a couple of days now I'm flying down to Louisiana. I'm going to spend seven days down there with Melissa. That's if I can get there. That flood that's over in um, by Houston and all that in Texas, that is not affecting her, but she just texted me about 20 minutes ago and said that the uh, airport, the um, New Orleans airport, is closed until Wednesday because of the weather. Well, my flight goes in there on Wednesday. So anyway, I'm supposed to. I've had those tickets bought for over a month. I always buy them a month early because you get a way better deal. And... Uh, now I guess we'll just kind of have to wait and see what happens. But anyway, uh, when I'm down there, I'll, of course, like I always do, I'll post those videos on my other channel, Northern Seclusion. And uh, I don't know, we were planning on going camping down on the Gulf, but because of the weather now, I don't know if we'll be able to go down there or not. I mean, she's a long ways from that but they're still gonna get I don't know two to three or four or five inches of rain not a big deal but still not any fun for camping I sure don't see any difference in quality ten plus years later here everything looks about the same the metal is all the same thickness the new one is a little cleaner <laughs> that's for sure I did go ahead and order the black real wood stove pipe. It's much thicker than the the metal stuff that I always use up there. It was just stuff that you buy like for duct work, you know, or whatever. So this stuff should last a lot longer. And I also ordered three five inch dampers. I like to have them on hand. Six inches easy to buy. Five inches not that easy to, to buy. I know a couple stores that carry them. This time I just ordered it. And then I'm really picky about my damper when I put it in the stove pipe. 
it's got to be straight across. I can't stand it when it's at an angle, so I measure it and I drill it. But if I screw it up and I get a bad damper that I'm just not happy with, I will toss the pipe and do a whole nother setup because you have to fight with that for fire after fire after fire. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. That's all I'm going to do right now. I just wanted to show everybody that I got the stove. Now I'll go in and I'll clean that stuff up, and next time we come out here we'll see how everything fits, if the shelf still fits. They say it'll all fit into the same little, these little holes here and everything, so we'll see. Anyway, like I said, going to go to Louisiana if everything pans out the way it's supposed to, so I'm going to be gone for a full week. If you want any videos, you're going to have to go over to the Northern Seclusion channel. I'll post some there if we go camping, something of the house, if there's a lot of rain, who knows. Whatever happens, I always have my camera. My latest little idea here for the tent, this is just a template, none of this will be actually used in the, uh, the finished product if I do it, but I always wanted to build a wood, a true wood fired smoker, one that runs on a wood stove that sits off, it would on this one sit off to the right of it and feed the smoke into the smoker. And then over on this side have where you put different kinds of wood for smoking, it would all have a roof over it and everything, I might even cover the whole face of this except for the door in stone. Anyway, just popping a few things around in my head. We'll see you guys on the next video.